Hey guys, I'm Lung Pamai and in this video I'm going to show you how to download a website to your local drive using a VBA on runtime. Please do check out our playlist if you're interested to know how to upload file to internet, SharePoint or other platform using VBA. Also if you're interested to learn how to easily transfer data between Excel to Access or SQL Server and SharePoint and etc. Uh, you can find them in our playlist. Um, before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and um, hit the bell icon just to stay updated with our latest videos. In our last video, we learned how to download a file from internet. We'll be using the same API today and also um, just want to mention that I'm working on a really advanced query to download market data from all the popular you know, like uh, market sites. Uh, I'll probably be sharing them over the weekend. Um, just need some more cleanup and handlers. Let me quickly give you a demo. So basically here is um, you know like money.cnn and then this from um, Rotors and then from Yahoo Finance. This is the function that I just wrote which basically uh, construct this table query for whatever fields that you've entered here it will directly go to the uh, to the URL and fetch the table for you in the in this fashion. So if I just run this um, code now, it will fetch the data from the website. So this is the website. If I quickly show you this, so you can see this is the table that it just retrieved, uh, you know, like for us now. Just give me one second. So here it is. Uh, all the currencies and then the percentage change and the, the last price and so on. If you can see the figures here, right? So similarly, if I run this for um, Rotor site, same code is going to take care of this. Be it any site that you put in there, it's going to take care of that. So watch out for this code um, if you have time over the weekend we can take in more questions and yeah, if you have additional requirement we can definitely you know like advise you or help you out on that so coming back to our code now let me just close this out this is the site that we want to take the page offline into our directory so you'll still have data accessible data um, that you can pull into your excel and do whatever you want with that so this one is from Bloomberg and this is the market data for EMEA. Similarly, as you can see the hyperlink, um, just give me one second. The cookie settings must be popping up. Okay, let me just agree. So if you see here, if you place your cursor here and look down here, you see the, you know, like the hyperlinks are there so you can use this this URL I'm doing it for um, uh, for EMEA now but you can still do it for any of the hyperlink from any website actually okay so this is the same API that I took uh, from our last uh, from our last tutorial okay okay so let's start writing the code declare your variable in the way you want constant URL as string So this will be the URL we want to download from. And let's call this uh, sub download web page. Dim i as long. And then we'll just say i is equal to, we'll just call this API now. So this API we have already gone through uh, last time, but here uh, the parameters are very simple again. Uh, we just need to take care of the URL and the file name that you want to download to your local drive. You can leave all this as default, the pointer and then the reserve. Uh, here we'll just leave this as um, zero. Second one is our URL that we declared. Uh, declared. And let's call this uh, X URL just in case the URL is already a name, defined name. And then here you'll specify where you want to download the file to. So let me just put it here for now. 
and we want to call this uh, whatever we download we'll call this offline web page uh, from Bloomberg something like that dot htm forgot to put in the parameters there okay so if i is equal to zero then say the other print downloaded else download field okay let's give it a shot so this is the URL we're trying to download we're calling this API this is the this is our local after we save it down we want to save this to this drive these are our parameters that you can just leave it blank okay I'm just gonna run this it says downloaded so if I go here you can see the page has been downloaded let me just turn off my internet to prevent the connection let me open this up in Firefox you can open up in any browser so as you can see here all this data set has been downloaded in HTML so it's very easy for you to do um, importing into your Excel through Power Query or in, a, in any way you want so this is one handy way of downloading the web data and then you can use this in your data analysis and in your research okay guys that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching uh, please leave a like and a comment if you found this video informative as always thank you for your support and you do have a good day bye bye